Hello, what's going on guys, and in this very short tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to hide the cursor when you start the game in Unity. So, my screen recorder is too crappy to show, and like to even show the cursor at all, but right now when I play the game, and I'm very sorry you guys can't see this, but um, there's a the cursor. So what, one, what, I, what I usually do is um, I create an empty game object. I call it no cursor. All right, and I create a JavaScript. Then we call the script whatever you want, but I'm gonna call it no cursor. Now I repeat that my screen recorder is very bad and it doesn't show a cursor anyways. But I guarantee to you that this will work. Um. So. We have this empty script and it's only one line of code. It's so simple. So you want to call it right when the function starts. Or, or I'm sorry. As soon as you call the function start, that's when you want to put it there. So because we want it to be no cursor from the very beginning. So as you can see here, um, if you're using Unity 4 or like before, I think. Yes, yeah, if you're using like Unity 4, then it would be a screen dot show cursor is equal to false. And then semicolon. You press save, but wait. It's gonna say I made backup. It's gonna say that the API is updated, right? That is because oh by the way, just drag in the no cursor here. Um so that's for Unity 4, but if you're using Unity 5 like me it's gonna be different it's gonna be cursor dot visible is equal to false now this is if you're using unity 5 right so now that we have that again I repeat I'm very sorry my screen recorder does not capture a cursor anyways but it sh it, I, I guarantee it will work for you as right now it does it's not showing any cursor when I get out here but once I exit the play the playing screen, I can move around with this. Yeah, you can just deselect that. I can um I can do many things, but again, I do not show cursor in my screen recorder, but it should work for you. If it doesn't work, just tell me in the description, please. I wanna know. Um that's it. But now there's a very simple issue. This isn't the first time I'm recording this video. I've recorded it many times. Because when I replayed it, I noticed that my screen, my screen recorder can't capture a cursor. So here's an error that I noticed. Um, since it's no cursor here, again, you don't see it, but whatever. When you go to the main menu, it will not show a cursor there either. It will just um, be invisible. I mean, it, it's there, but it's just invisible. So what you have to do is, you guessed it, create another script and assign it to an empty in the main menu it's just gonna be the same thing as this you might as well copy paste it but instead of false it's gonna be true so as soon as you do that you just copy and then let me go to the main menu go to the main menu scene save I wanna create an empty and I'm gonna call this show cursor and I'm going to create a script for that. And of course, you guessed it, it's going to be called show cursor. Create JavaScript show cursor. And we're going to open up in Mongo Develop. And we're just going to. Hmm, come on. We open it up and we're just going to delete this and paste this. Except this time, it's not going to be false. It will be true. And now. You're not gonna be able to see it, but I am, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you guys if it works or not. So I'm gonna go back to the tennis scene, really. And uh, as you can see here, so wait, wrong scene. I think it's this one. All right, is it this one? Wrong scene. All right, correct scene. So, um, so here I I cannot see my cursor, and when I go to main menu. Um, it still doesn't show. Oh, wait, did I even assign it? I didn't assign it, didn't I? Show cursor. Yeah, I need to assign the script. Sorry. 
I was getting a bit worried there. Alright, so level four, save. Um no cursor. Cursor, perfect. Now guys, this is I'm being completely honest, it is working for me. See, I I can literally control this. But I mean you guys can't see the cursor anyways. My screen recorder. Um but this should work, I guarantee it. Make sure that you actually that you're not like me and you actually remember to drag the script to the actual game object. And um I mean that's it. Very simple. I mean all you have to do is like edit is like write one line of code and then just copy paste and then just edit one word. It's extremely simple. Um I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe, please like. Uh, it's a very simple tutorial. Thank you all for watching and bye.